Hey guys, Career Brooks here. Welcome back to the video. And last video, I did the Advent Calendar video. Sorry if that video was disappointing, but um, I'm doing another video, which is um, I'm reviewing the Legoland train that I got from Legoland in during the summer. I would have showed you guys, but I of course didn't have a YouTube channel back then, so I'm gonna review it now. And here it is. But first, let's take a look at the minifigure. So here's the main minifigure, well, probably of this set. Um, this is the train conductor. So he uses that really old headpiece. I think that's retired, but it probably only comes in this set now. Um, he uses that uh, little flat uh, hairpiece, and it's great, like the one that Han Solo uses. And he has this... Uh, conductor torso, well, kind of. He has a stopwatch right there just to check the time when the train's supposed to arrive. He has a tie, he has a vest, and more printing on the back. He has white arms and black legs, and that is it for the conductor. So, the next minifigure is this little kid that uh, goes on the train with his family. He, uh, he has this kind of rare uh, coal hair in yellow kind of looks weird because he has yellow he has a yellow face and that's yellow hair but it's pretty cool hair piece and he uses that uh sweater and there's a pocket right there he has a green shirt hidden under there and he has a hood in the back and he has aqua blue legs and that is it for the little kid so here's the dad probably of the set uh, he uses a kind of uncommon hairpiece, but he has, uh, kind of a goatee or something. And he has, like, a shirt with, uh, red patterns on it, on it too, and there's more on the back. He also has a camera as an accessory, he has dark red pants, and that is it for this minifigure. So here's probably the mom of the set, I'm not sure though, but she has like a bun in the back, and she has glasses, kind of uncommon, I'm not sure though. Um, she has this little flower, uh, shirt, I'm not sure, I'm not familiar with that. And she has a bow in the back, some sparkle detailing, and purple pants, and I'm not sure if this is the younger version, but... In a Thanksgiving set in 2015, back when they did, like, brick-built uh, little rooms of sets for seasonal stuff. This is the minifigure that came in that set also, but this is probably the older version of her because she has the same glasses and kind of same design, and she has that same bun right there. So, nice little reference to that set. So, here's the main part of the set. It's the Legoland train. The only downside of the set is that every single little thing has is stickers, so that is kind of a problem for the set, but this is a really great set, though. But but there's, like, engines in the back, there's more detailing up there, there's a funnel, and this is where the train works, right there. There's, like, a little cargo part to this. And it has a shovel, it has a broom inside. If you want to know how that works, it's right there. And this is where all the passengers go, it's really cool. Um, also, if you want to buy another set, there's this little pin, and you could get another one to expand this. And the way to access this is that you lift this up, and you get your minifigures in a sit-down position. So there's the lady in there. And... The kid sits probably right here, and then the dad with the camera, he sits down like that. Then that is where he sits. Then you could just get the roof and put it back on easily. They're attached by these little plates. And the way that the conductor can go in is that you lift this up, so it's really easy to access. Um, in there, there's a little chair, there's more, uh, steering, and there's a control to detect how fast the pla the train is going. But if it goes 88 miles per hour, it can probably travel into the future. So, 
And that is a sticker, which is quite disappointing, but you sit him down like that. Then you just sit him in the chair. There he is. Then you grab the roof and then put it back on. And if you want to know how this detaches, so just take that off. So you can take that off too. And you can arrange this any way you want. So you can just put it back on like that. And like that. And also to note, uh, this also seats three people. Well, you can add one to the roof, but that's dangerous. So um, that is the front. This is the side, and that is the back. They also use a glass piece right there, and they use a really long plate to cover the roof of this. That is the Legoland train. Also, to make the set better, they include this Legoland flag, and it has the little train logo right there, and also the sun that's in the Legoland when you walk into the entrance. And... They include this little tile to cover the little map. And this is the map of the um, Legoland Resort. Well, not really Resort or Amusement Park, but there's clouds right there. There's that little free fall tower, I think it is. Um, there is like the water slide in Legoland. Uh, there's a water park there also. And this is like a standard. It's held by 2x2 two two right there and another one right there. And this is the back. And sadly, this is also a stick. So here's the box of the Legoland train. Uh, it's very thick. But, um... Oh, sorry about the glare. So, this ha this includes 210 pieces, which is a great amount for the $20 price range. And for 8 to 6 up, this is the box. And... It's twenty dollars, and here's the side, and nothing on the top. There's the top, and this is the back. It kind of shows all the detailing, but in real life, it doesn't include a track. But you could possibly put the side on the back. So that was my Legoland train review. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to go to Legoland, it's the possibly the best amusement park ever. You should definitely go there. If you have the time in the summer next year, well, right now it's winter, so, uh, kind of inaccurate, but right now Legoland has, uh, like a Christmas events going on right now, so if you want, you should go there for Christmas vacation if you want. So, um, also this set isn't available on the Lego store online, but this is only available in the big shop and the Legoland stores, so, um. If you want, you should definitely get the set. I would rate it an A or uh, 8 out of 10 just because of the stickers and all that stuff. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the, the next video. Bye.